According to Public Health, from January 1st to February 8th, the COVID-19 positivity rate on island remains at about 35 percent, despite the decrease in testing, likely due to only symptomatics and high-risk individuals being tested. The agency is averaging 600 cases per day. The main age groups driving the surge are now the 18 to 39 and 12 to 17 age group, followed by all other age groups merging, suggesting household and family spread. Public Health Territorial Epidemiologist Dr. Ann Pabutsky says they're eyeing hospitalizations very closely. Cases of increases, we're seeing an increase in hospitalizations. There's also an increase in the, in the ICUs. It's getting close to concerning, but the hospital hasn't really, the hospitals haven't reported that this is uh, overwhelming them yet. Also concerning is the climbing number of COVID related fatalities. This year alone, there have been 33. We've seen an increase in COVID-19 related deaths, particularly the dead on arrivals. 60% uh, of the cases from January 1st to the present time have been um, dead on arrivals. A lot of the DOAs recently have been elderly. Public Health urges Island Manumcos to take extra precaution during the surge and if they feel symptoms to get tested right away and to consult with their doctors to see if they qualify for either the Paxlovid or Molnupiravir antiviral pills. Another treatment effective against Omicron is currently unavailable on island, and that's Trovimab. KUAM asked Public Health Interim Chief Medical Officer Dr. Bob Leon Guerrero if he believes hospitalizations will rise due to the absence of the MAB therapy. Theoretically, that's, the, that's probably true. I, again, I, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't really predict. I think we can somewhat uh, blunt that response by if people are sick, Report, uh, you know, be checked, and then if they qualify, they can try the antiviral, and the antiviral may uh, blunt the response of uh, hospitalizations if it's used early enough. As we reported, Public Health ordered 192 doses of citrovimab. When it will arrive, remains to be seen. Daniel Perez reporting for Guam's News Network.